Welcome to Longevity Roundup, where I go over five stories in five minutes, or maybe seven minutes. No promises. So let's get started. In our first story, David Sinclair is raking in the cash again. That's right, Tally Health, the $129 to $199 a month longevity club created by anti-aging researcher and Harvard professor David Sinclair, just got a major infusion of cash. Tally Health announced that it has closed a $10 million seed round, which included venture capitalists as well as celebrities like John Legend, Whitney Cummings, and Pedro Pascal. This is the way. According to the company, the money will be used to expand research and development of new products and additional features. Tally Health CEO Melanie Goldie said, We are also seeking to make our products, recommendations, and interventions even more customized for our members. Before its launch in February, Tally Health had a waiting list of 270,000 people who wanted to try the product line, which includes a biological age test, daily supplements, and personalized health advice. What's more important, the quality of sleep or quantity of sleep? Well, according to new research, good quality sleep may be more important for a healthy and happy life than the recommended seven to nine hours of sleep per night. The study followed more than 4,000 people in the Czech Republic over three years and measured their quality of life using five parameters, life satisfaction, well-being, happiness, subjective health, and work stress. The research found that those who reported being able to fall asleep quickly and stay asleep through the night had a better quality of life compared to those who did not. The study also looked at social jet lag, which occurs when sleep habits change, such as going to bed later and waking up later on weekends. The researchers found that sleep quality was associated with health and happiness, while work stress was linked to social jet lag. The study suggests that sleep duration is not as important to quality of life as what is considered a good night's sleep. However, the researchers noted that the findings are associational and more studies are needed to determine whether poor quality sleep lowers quality of life or vice versa. Bioprinted patches could repair dead heart tissue. Researchers from Australia have developed a bioprinting technology that uses personalized bio inks made from a patient's own stem cells to repair dead areas caused by heart attacks. The findings, published in the journal Bioprinting, could one day help patients recover from the damage caused by an extensive heart attack. Cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death worldwide, accounting for about one in four deaths in Australia, claiming a life every 12 minutes. Heart failure is a frequent complication of heart disease, with inadequate blood supply resulting in the death of heart tissue in an affected area. End-stage heart failure means some patients join the waiting list for a heart transplant. This new technology, which could replace the need for heart transplants, is currently undergoing long-term testing in mice before human clinical trials begin. AI shows the need for healthier diets in long-term care homes. An AI analysis of the diets of over 600 residents at 32 long-term care homes in Canada found a need for healthier food choices. The study, conducted by researchers at the University of Waterloo, found that increasing whole grains, plant-based proteins, and plain fruits and vegetables would help residents, quote, meet Canada's food guide on healthy eating and expert information on foods that could cause inflammation. The researchers used a new AI tool to automate the analysis providing more comprehensive insights into the nutritional quality of long-term care home diets. However, improving the quality of food in these facilities presents challenges, such as ensuring that residents enjoy the food they consume and receive enough calories, as well as budgetary constraints and seasonal food availability. Maybe the care home should find out what the subject of our next story eats. And finally, in super centenarian news, Vincent Dransfield, a New Jersey native, recently celebrated his 109th birthday. What makes his story more inspiring is that he lives on his own in the same house he's been in since 1945 and still drives into town every day for a coffee and a newspaper. He also likes to hang out at the local firehouse where he volunteered for more than 80 years and served as a fire chief for a period. Dransfield has never had a major disease, yet he doesn't pay much attention to his diet according to his granddaughter. As for exercise, he said his work at the firehouse and as an auto parts manager was enough. 
He credits his good health to leaving school in the eighth grade and going to work at a dairy farm where he delivered milk and drank as much of it as he wanted. Oh, and he drinks Ovaltine every day. If they don't put him in a commercial, they've missed a major marketing opportunity. Anyway, happy birthday, Vincent. I hope your cake didn't attract any unwanted attention from your buddies down at the fire station. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another longevity roundup and other valuable content. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Also, consider supporting me with a super thanks or buy me a coffee. Links down below.